Yes, good morning. This morning we have with us the man of Red Vajie in Noko Jotis. It's, uh, it's a great pleasure to have you with us this morning in the studio. Sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you so much. And good morning to our listeners all over the world. Yes, uh, sir. Before you uh, join the show, sir, I know, you know, uh, you're, you're, you're just coming from LA, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the compliments on my appearance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was saying that single parenting, we have the pros and cons. And we have some successful children that are brought up by single parents. But they are rare. Why these? Why these? What's the main reason why parents, um, single parent, single parent children, are facing a lot of troubles than children from these two parent homes? First, I'd like to answer this question from a philosophical perspective with the mind. I believe marriage is meant to be between two people in some circumstances or more and prevalently on the African traditional values it could be between or amongst a man and two or more women different types of marriages now marriage is meant to be a contract a union between two people or more for the purpose of building a family family the smallest gathering of units in a society that shapes the society now if the duty or assignment or contractual job contractual duty of two persons or more becomes a duty of one person it is inevitably true that there is high possibility mm. high proportional possibility that there will be a failed job somewhere along the line mm. an assignment that is meant for a man and a woman or a man and you know his wives and something happens along the line perhaps the man dies or he dies or uh, the women for some other reason which are far beyond our knowledge of family or understanding decide to leave the man with the children there will be failure because there's always a responsibility on the part of the male gender and another responsibility on the part of the female gender. Male gender. If one of the gender is missing, there is high possibility that the other gender cannot fulfill the quantum of duties from the other gender. Mm. And that will surely lead to having produce of bad children in society. That will surely lead to unhappy home. Hmm. I usually say this, a man will provide a house, but a woman will make the house we a make, home. Mm. Mm, mm. house and home yes <laughs> so if a woman is missing in your house if a woman is missing in your life if a woman is missing in your family there is a high tendency you are just living in a house and you are not yet perhaps even living at all in a home mm, and mm. that would definitely affect the children the children mm. there's always a part whereby we were brought up to believe that ah adults who teach us how to cultivate and farms how to clean the environment how to use machinery tools to keep the homes together and we believe our mothers teach us how to like clean the inner parts of the home mm. cook our food take care of our brothers or sisters and nurture one another these are different duties when i was when i was young my dad would say have you done your assignment go carry your book no, no, that is, <laughs> go read. that's the duty of the father mm. now my mother on our part we say my my son have you have you washed your uniform at all for tomorrow mm. have you washed your socks come let me help you let me show you my father would not do that my father would not sit with me in the kitchen and teach me how to <laughs> cut onions <laughs> where's the time my mother would not come with me to the car to teach me which one is accelerator which one is brick, which mm. one is clutch mm. these are different duties of, of parents now parents. if one of them is missing or if both of them are missing there's a very high tendency that the the produce of such children will be quite bad in the society but in some circumstances we have seen situations whereby some of these children have escaped the cause the ills hmm. of single parenthood it was a situation whereby people who are raised by single parents it was not as a result of divorce some it was death and mm. the, the the other partner was so loyal by saying he or she would not remarry yes some mm -hmm. it was as a result of uh, let's say rape 
and the woman decides, oh, I've been raped. I, I don't trust women. I don't trust, I don't trust men again. Mm. Some, as a result of distrust, infidelity, and we have different reasons why we have single parents in society. But the predominant part of it, if I if I am if I'm going to diversify right now into the African American culture, is that it was as a result of economic tool mm. by the, by the imperial society, you know, to quench the rising financial, economic, political power of the black people in America. Hmm. And that, that, that led to the increase in single parenthood, encouraging uh, mothers to have more jobs than, than men. The men. Unlike 70s, in the 60s, 50s, the men in the African-American society were the ones producing. The women were performing their duties. Women were working as well in the infrastructure society of, of, of African-American society. But it got to a point whereby there was a change in the system and right now if you go to the african-american society you see 20 18 19 25 year old mother raising her kids on her own it's hmm. more it's like a norm to see a single girl having a, having kid, a kid without with the baby dad doing trash <laughs> and then trying to set her life back by remarrying at the age of 28 29 perhaps after she's gone to law school or something that's the really thing about it and i think that's what is happening right now in, in our country nigeria mm. yeah. i had to use the african-american society as uh, as a platform to explain what happened in Nigeria, you, you get to Lagos, you go to Abuja, you come to Ibadan, you see a lot of our women. A lot. They are proud of being a single mother. They are so proud. If you are, if you are proud of being a single mother as a result of whatever reason that it is, I, I, I still believe there is a room for consideration. If it's not on the spiritual side, if it's not so much on some reasons you probably don't want to share to the public, but if it's on the issue of uh, infidelity or something, there's always a room for. Recovery, recovery for reconciliation and other things thank mm. you mm. thank you yes sir thank you very much and uh from your word you said um it's common and it's rampant and they are proud of doing it but i wonder why will you be proud okay you are proud of doing it why don't you care about the life of the children don't they know it affects children well uh, it's, let me say this it is easier said than done hmm. see at times we as humans we also want to put ourselves first. And it is not selfish if you put yourself first. <laughs> because personally speaking, humanly speaking right now, I've come to realize that there are some persons I've put first in my life. Mm. And they didn't even consider me a third. Mm. Talk less of putting me first. And I've been trashed. I've been bashed. Mm. And I've crashed. Mm. Bashed, crashed. Yes. But the truth is, I'm back on my feet on the threshold. And I've learned to put myself first. first now if you're going to put your child first what if this, this child grows up and in your old age the child doesn't even put you first mm. you're going to live in regret so for those who are single parents they have their reasons too they want to enjoy their lives a am i wrong mr producer you're listening to this am i wrong am i wrong <laughs> they just want to enjoy themselves mm. they also want to have a, a a part you know there are times most of these single parents are single because they want to prove a point that I can do it. I can survive without you. Mm. Especially our women. Because our men have a way of maltreating women. You know, not taking care of them. Neglecting them. Making them suffer. We, we call them weaker vessel, stronger <laughs> mind. But the truth is, we are weak one way or the other. A lot of single parents are doing so because they have a point to prove to their ex-partner, to their families, to friends, to relatives, to the society. Hmm. It is not as easy as, as that. Moreover, if, if you're saying, oh, I don't want to be a single parent, parent, should you then go into marriage that you know there's domestic violence, there's mental violence, mm, mm. And, and be there? Eventually, if you, if you, if you, if you will through, if you wait through all this domestic violence, the mental violence, and everything, you know, in this kind of wrong relationship, what happens to the, to the child when the child grows up? Would the child even understand that? Would the child even appreciate that? Hmm. What happens to yourself? Are you not going to participate? Are you not going to enjoy yourself? Are you not going to satisfy yourself? Hmm. There's always a room of question. Where do I come in? Hmm. How about me? About myself. What's my game? Mm. Yes. Mm. What's my game? Mm. Hope you understand. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. I really so much appreciate that from your own opinion. You're welcome. But, sir, do you agree with me that there are disadvantages of single parenting? The yes. effect on children? Yes. From the behavior to, to the psychological yeah. problem? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it true? Uh, take for example, let me say this. I, for one, I, I've seen uh, people who are raised by single parents. Mm -hmm. And I've come to understand that they have fear for marriage. They have fear for love. 
they have fear for what will become of them hmm because they were raised by single parents it affects their psychological state of mind they doubt whatever they do doubt they don't see themselves as 100% while they are over 1000% mm they always they always under the fear and so they have to explain whatever thing they do all the time low self esteem yeah low self esteem whatever they do they believe that oh people be like oh doubt me so let me just explain mm. why mm. it's a psychological state of mind mm mm Single parenthood has it has more disadvantages than the advantage. Hmm. There's this friend of mine who unfortunately uh, is he has passed away now. Hmm. Very brilliant mind. Hmm. But he was always troubled, he was a troubled child. So we taunt him and like, ah guy, what's wrong with you? Blah blah blah. So there was this day when SS1, if I remember, and then he sat down and was just crying out like, what happened? And then he said, Again, again, my mom, my dad. What was the meaning of a game? Keep doing shit. And then he voiced out. I was like, really? As young as he was, he was thinking, he was thinking. He had an illness. He couldn't tell anybody because this weekend he stays with his dad. Next weekend he's with his, with mom. his mom. So, and both of them were career work. They didn't have time for him. Eventually he got so sick. We didn't know on time. And then eventually he died. And it was a billion man. If he had not died, I'm so sure he would have been one of the very best um, lawyers today. Mm. His dream was to have been a lawyer. So Part of the progress of single parents. Mm. And I've seen people who didn't know Jack. But their dad would tell them, daily you will daily you will And the mother too will say, daily or mommy, uh, you will survive. Mm. The mm. encouragement from seeing your parents around you is one of the rarest gifts on earth. Mm. If you can see your mom and your dad to your old age, it's one of the rarest gifts God has ever given you. Because that will shape in your mind, that will shape in your life, that will shape in your faith. That was shaping who you're going to become. And that was even shaping the kind of family you have. Mm. There's high possibility of having a better family than mm. the ones your dad and your mother have. Mm. If you've seen them together. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and now that we'll agree that there are disadvantages of single parenting, the effects on children, what can be done to overcome these challenges? Is it possible to overcome these challenges? Is it really possible? Let me use the word really. Sometimes it is possible and within months we go back to the same problem. But is it possible to finally eradicate, reduce these single parenting challenges on the children, sir? Let me answer that question by asking another question. Is it possible to have faithful relationships? <laughs> Not. 100%. Not 100%. 75. Everywhere? No, sir. Is it possible that there will not be infidelity? I missed a um, hundred marriages. Mm, no. Same way. Mm. Single parents would cannot be stopped because it is it is not as a result of one or two reasons. We have the psychological reason, cultural reason, traditional mm. values, religious, mental reason, the question of infidelity, spiritual reasons as well. Which mm. in Africa is more or less like 89% <laughs> of uh, the, reasons. the reasons why we have uh, single parents. You will hear that, oh, after we give birth to one or two kids, they discover our stars. <laughs> Not alike. <laughs> <laughs> or you hear stories like, ah, after this person died, we were told not to remarry. And mm, mm. So many things you cannot explain. Mm. The world is not growing um, leaner. The world is growing thicker hmm. with confusion. The world is not growing bigger in love. The world is growing bigger without love. Hmm. Our world is not static. Our world is taking a new shape. A new shape in confusion, hmm. unrest, and uncertainty. The only thing that can... Um, reduce single parenthood is if this new generation i'm not talking about the millennials mm. uh, we millennials were <laughs> products of a generation that would not ask questions <laughs> and even if some of us ask questions i do not believe we have the contributory support of other millennials mm. 
I prefer the coming generation, the Gen Z that asks questions. If they can decide that we're going to reach a conclusion. Mm. And what's that conclusion? Have a prenuptial agreement. Prenuptial, how do we operate? How do we raise our family? How do we co parent? Hmm. You see, the context of co parenting already exists in our culture, but we forgot that part. And swallow the line sinker, the Western culture, the pure monogamy Western culture, which is which in itself is not entirely true of the Western culture. Mm, mm, yes. In those days, our fathers will have their arts, our mothers will have their arts, not far. Children, uncles, aunties, aunties, cousins, nephew, nieces were playing in a compound. And then you would see the mother telling the child, make sure you do this for your father before he comes back from the farm. Co-parenting. Not necessarily that. The fact that I've seen couples whereby both the father and the mother live in the same house. And the children hardly see the father. Mm. It's not about staying apart. Co-parenting is you can even be staying together and not be <laughs> raising the child together. <laughs> yeah, mm. We have some nonchalant fathers, I'm sorry to say, who just wake up, do their own, come get back where they please and get out and come back. And then the mother will like, ah, your son or your daughter needs this and like <laughs> There are so many fathers who are just living in the house who are not even fulfilling their role as father or mothers too, you know. Mm. So <laughs> The context of co-parenting is something that should that should be really discussed. Mm. And that's why I encourage prenuptial agreement. Sit down. How do we Talk. raise our family? What do we do mm. in virtuality if this happens? If there's a mistake from my part, how do we settle it? If it's on your part, what do we do? Who mm. are those that we involve? The church leaders? Our lawyer? Or go to a psychology to a psychologist to, to discuss our uh, uh, issues or a marriage uh, counselor. counselor. These are things that we should have in pure discussion for the prenuptial agreement. Mm. And it is not my generation that will do it. <laughs> Our generation, the generation before us, lazy <laughs> to ask questions, too scared to raise questions, and should I say, too unsure to challenge the status quo. Mm. Because when a lie stays for too long, truth appears as the lie. Hmm. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yes. So, if we have a generation that can challenge the status quo, if we have a generation that can raise questions, if we have a generation that can decide that, look, we'll put an end to single parenthood, but not to stand it, let's start from prenuptial agreement. How do we raise our children? Our children. How do we do this? How do we resolve our conflicts? Eventually, if we want to even separate, how do we go about the separation? That will not affect these children Hmm. how do we raise our family alongside our career these are part of what the prenuptial agreement is all about which was missing hugely in the in the in the generation before us in our generation it is missing already how Hmm. many Nigerians know about prenuptial agreement (laughs) how many Nigerians are are doing it Uh how many Nigerians are interested in it even right now some people are sitting in the four corners of their room listening to this on on their streams on their phones or gadgets and Saying what this guy is saying, what's prenuptial agreement? Well, well, I don't understand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nigerians and Google, we are enemies. <laughs> Google search, study, they will not study you. No. But if it's a game or film, they will. My brother, <laughs> prenuptial agreement is important. It's very important. Let's discuss. Mm. Woman, man, how, would, how are we going to go about this? You know, that's mm. one of the ways we can cover it. That's the only way, we, from there, we'll proceed. Mm, that's like the, the that's the major start the major starts but if, if you're saying oh we went the uh, single parents was it's a lie <coughs> it's a lie permit me to say this <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see most times we nigerians we we love to uh, joke about our pains mm. because that's the easiest way we can cover up our wound nigerians are mentally emotionally damaged Family, you know work. Mm. Government and in people, no, you know work. Mm, mm, mm. You reach school, you know work. Your own cultural background, you know, you know work with your religion. Mm, mm. Your religious values, you know work now because many force religious religious professors on day. So we are we are emotionally damaged. 
go to a marriage counselor or go to a guide a, a, a guardian or a counselor to to speak to you you know it work now because the guardian or the counselor said they go through the same matter like you <laughs> <laughs> they're also passing through pain <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why i usually say that just be faithful mm. be faithful fulfill your word have an agreement with your partner is it that's why i said marriage is a contract it's a contract from the mm, beginning mm. have an agreement with your, with your partner discuss your with your with each other or how do we settle these things how do we go about these things mm, mm. always have listening ear to your partner no say you go to the shower no, 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 no. no. Mm. if you be van dam outside but you reach inside eh, you go turn eh. Baba JJ. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you thank you very much sir I really love that from you I've I've I no that's from a different unique perception like we can solve it now but they once come in can solve it yes they can solve well, it we need to tell them we need to tell them we need to uh, preach to them and we need to show them, them. Mm, mm, because mm. most times we we like to hide our mistakes we like to hide our errors mm. uh, for example you see this morning when I got to the studio, I, I had to explain why I couldn't uh, get to the studio on time. And I had to explain my schedule oh, from 4 a.m. to this, to that. You must always be account- you must be accountable for everything you do in life. Mm. Responsibility. Yes. Accountability is, is not even just because of you. It's because of those who surround you so they won't make further errors. And because of those who are coming behind you. Mm. How are you going to cover your mistakes? How are you going to cover your shame? your errors if you do that you're not helping the coming generation thank you thank you very much sir and uh, i really love what you said and i also learned a, a word which is accountability always account for whatever you do for those that are around you and for those that are coming behind you that's a uh, powerful coming for you uh, coming from you sir and also this morning we're discussing about the disadvantages of single parenting and how it affects the children, in case you're just listening through Zeno and you want to be part of the conversation, this number is 08021793318 plus 34 8021793318. Drop comment on Facebook, on WhatsApp. Your opinion is always respected. Our time is not on our side. But before we go, sir, I really want to say something. Yeah. We our um two parent families many single parent families are also successful yeah single parents and their children yeah making some few compromises and making some few adjustments they can also be a successful parent and a successful children but it takes a uh, personality trait it yeah. takes yes. good our uh, parenting to have a single parenting a single parent and a single parent children yeah. successful yeah. and that's what we are trying to say single parenting can be stopped by us but the ones coming yeah. they can try put an end yes. to it yes. and we also talk about the roots of this and what can be done in this nigeria in this africa to call this single parenting the effect on children which is agreement agree with your partner before marriage marriage is a contract agree with your partner what will be done with our children if this happen what should we do who should we run to who should we go to and that's what we're saying this morning on the platform of discovery, of discovery. and sal i will ask you do you uh, do you believe and agree that uh unlike many two families house they are also single parent family that are successful yes they're, they're, we've seen families that that, that uh, escaped mm. the escaped the the, the torture mm. of single parenthood i've seen children from single parents who eventually became uh, a role model mm. but how many we can count them Hmm. They are rare. They are rare. We can't count them. Hmm. A single mother survives the others that life has thrown at her shame, infidelity, pain, and everything. Sends a child abroad for school. <laughs> the boy returns. Don't forget, if you are speaking about, if you are talking about single parenthood, 
if the woman there's high possibility if the woman mm. has financial strength there's high possibility that the child will turn out well hmm. take it or leave it mm, 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 mm. that woman will do anything anything possible <laughs> to make sure that child <laughs> turns out well mm. if the woman is if this single parent we are discussing about is 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 not is not that far it's around us i've seen friends <laughs> who were raised by their mothers now if the so-called woman in question has financial power power money hmm. that child will turn out well <laughs> because the way god created women <laughs> they are far intelligent there is no role they can't play mm. in fact they say that what they, what they can do a woman can, woman do, can better. do better when it's time for them to be strict they'll be strict they when it's time for them to be like motherly they will Wheel. be mm. it's a man that cannot do two at the same time <laughs> you know but mm. unfortunately in nigeria our women they have financial independence they have financial it. power the is not so there. Uh, when they are raised you you see men bragging oh she can't do without me i will show her pepe <laughs> and these are things that we need to curb mm. we need to remind the man or the men one day they will be old hmm. and when they are old who will take care of them hmm. single parenthood is not a good thing at all i don't support it hmm. i do not <laughs> we have to start from somewhere it's a very deep topic it's today it's a very deep topic and uh and that's why i'm always clamoring for financial independence of a woman in marriage hmm. don't wait for your husband's salary do don't not. wait for your husband's money mm-hmm. don't wait for your husband on anything mm. in fact i do not appreciate a joint account <laughs> <laughs> and as a lawyer that i am i i, I do not um, <laughs> encourage telling your partner about your life insurance <laughs> <or anything like laughs> that. I'm just looking at you <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not um, encourage it mm. there are so many things i do not encourage as a lawyer i i want to say this again single parenthood can be called mm, mm, mm. if there is prenuptial agreement prenuptial agreement if there is love and understanding hmm. and most importantly if there's financial independence on the part of the woman of the woman and not part of the man alone <laughs> you know something about nigerian men we don't like it when they say our wives our <laughs> yawalu <laughs> we always feel threatened because what we do behind them Mm. is what we believe they will do behind us, behind us. if they have money <laughs> <laughs> so i know nigerian men will come from my head <laughs> but the truth is that my head is not even on my neck already mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm a spirit being <laughs> <laughs> but it is the truth mm, 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 mm. mommy tosi mommy james mommy lagbaja how much did you make this month women love us mm, do ah, we? i made five hundred thousand I've paid this. Okay, okay. Yeah, bring the remaining amount of money. Uh, you don't need to do that. No, no. The beauty of love is the future of your children. Mm, mm, mm. My darling wife, I made a millionaire. Oh, my my husband, my my sweetheart, I I made eight hundred and fifty thousand naira. Okay, you know what? Let's invest five hundred thousand out of your own eight fifty thousand for our children. Mm. Now keep the remaining money for yourself. All right. Now, from my own money as well, we'll take care of the bills and the house. And everything. We'll buy food. And then two of us will also go on vacation once our children have gone to um, school or something. Try to plan your life. Mm-hmm. You're a man. Take the responsibility. That, that thing God told us, cultivate the land. Now, cultivate the land. Cultivate the Forget. We have to take care of the family. Mm-hmm. But if mm-hmm. the woman has more, if you go into agreement with her, see, women are, they are kind, they are beautiful, they are, they are loving. Mm-hmm. A woman can drop all her accounts for you. You don't have to even shout. It's all about understanding. Understanding. Mm. Mm. I don't know if any. Uh, we need some money to do to run the business of these affairs of this house. What do you think? She goes, my love, I've saved three million for us. Eh? All this money you give me all these years. I was able to receive three million. And now that there is economic hardship, we can invest. Let's go into social business. Yeah. I'll help you out. I'll do this. That's a woman for you. Mm. But we men, we have this uh, <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> crazy nature. <laughs> At times when the money is too much, it pushes us and mm. they'll be like, Mommy James, you, you are looking a little old. 
you forgotten you made that old <laughs> James that came <laughs> out. <of> that. <laughs> That's your work. Yeah, we we have men. Mm. We have the larger portion of of blame, but it's the truth we don't want to accept. Mm. We have the larger portion of blame. Baba DJ is not agreeing with me. <laughs> I'm very he sure he's, my mic. he's not agreeing with you. We men hold the larger, the larger pe- uh, we blame. We resolve blame mm. for single parenthood. You know, single parenthood means that the other partner is not featuring in the in reason the of reason. the family. Mm. Single parenthood shows that the, the other partner is not featuring at all. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you very much, sir. For that and uh i really appreciate that coming from you ah and uh time is not on our side i'm let me I'll, quickly chip in this yes you sir. know if it's about co-parenting mm. both parents are still featuring the life of that child mm. but single parenting means the other partner is, is off mm. deleted mm. disconnected mm, mm. so you advise co-parenting instead of single parenting instead of single parenting if the issue has deteriorated so much mm. why not just opt for single parents um, and, um, co-parenting. co-parenting instead of single parenting mm. why why not reach an agreement okay we are not marrying each other again we can continue with this union let's Fine. work for the betterment of this child yes mm. i would not remove this child from your life don't remove this child from my life in fact i'll still continue to play my part in fact two of us will never shout at each other in the presence of this child mm. I've seen people like that. I, I'm sorry if I don't. If you spare me the um, no, no opportunity, sure. take for example Femi Kuti. Mm. There's a reason why I I love what Femi Kuti has done with his family. Fine, he's not together with uh, uh, Funke Kuti, the mother of Madi Kuti, but you will not know because Funke Kuti is still in the life of Madi Kuti. Femi Kuti is still in the life of Madi Kuti. Kuti. In fact, I've seen Femi Kuti take pictures, go to events, hug Funke Kuti because of Madi Kuti. Mm. So that his psychology will be strong because there is nothing that makes a man strong like the bond of family. Mm, mm, mm. If the bond of family is there, nothing will defeat you because no matter the injuries you receive from outside, coming to the arms of your father, your mother, your blood relation quickens you to stand up as a warrior that you are and raises your consciousness. Mm. I've seen Femi Kuti several times because of Madi. How many of our parents, how many of the previous generation are conscious enough, are bold enough, are kind enough to do co-parenting? Mm. Most of the generations of Femi Koti, they would rather banish that woman, disconnect that woman from the life of Madi. Mm, that, that's what they would do. And that would be worse for Madi. And that would even be worse for Femi Koti later. But because Femi Koti is more matured, the consciousness of an African person is in him. The African values are there. He didn't disconnect Funke Kuti from Made Kuti's life. Made Kuti has enjoyed his father, his mother. Mm. The beauty, even you, you see Femi Kuti's other children celebrating birthdays, and you still see Funke Kuti okay. posting them, appreciating them. You see Femi Kuti as well saying, Oh, Funke Kuti, thanks for the previous thing you did for me at the show, or something like that. How many of Nigerian men would do something like that? Mm. And that's what I'm talking about. Mm. So I have to give you a practical example. I'm sorry to the family of Femi Kuti for using uh, his, um, his personal life as an example, but it, it's encouraged me. It's something I'm, it's a testimony of his life that I'm, I'm, I'm proud to, to share. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. And so, and that's what you've uh, aired. Co-parenting is far better than single parenting. And uh, time is not on our side. And probably yeah. next week, God willing, if you have questions to ask or if your opinion is different from ours, then we have to delve deep into today's discussion, into today's topic of co-parenting and single parenting. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for, giving, for, for honoring our call to be on the show I'm this morning. Grateful, it's, it's a great pleasure. Thank you very much, sir. And I hope next week as well, you'll be joining us as well. Thanks to a lot of people that have joined the show since the start of the show by 10 a.m. and it's 12 already. Thanks for all you do. We've been working today with uh, uh, Lucia Gumaya de Richardos, Omobaba Jejan, of course, uh, engineer Alona de Joy, Oluambo. My name is Ajay Solomon. Before we go, sir, anything to, to say before we go, sir? <laughs> Like a word of knowledge, right? Yes, sir. Good, good, good. Let me tell you the truth. Life will not come at you mm. 
as you have designed in your art. And life will not challenge you at your strongest point. Hmm. That place you think is not important that life can never challenge you from it. <laughs> that's where you get your challenges. And only one thing will make you overcome. If you're able to find love with yourself first. And if you're lucky enough to find love in the hands of another hmm. who loves you more in your time of challenge. Hmm. 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 So you overcome. Hmm. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, sir. And that's uh <laughs> that's beautiful coming from you and that's our perspective for for today on perspective gbbn radio tv uh, tell us your name sir before we go sir yeah my name is enoch ojotisa mm. mm-hmm. i'm a writer a poet a publisher um, a voice of artist <laughs> uh, many things and many things in this world just put i am art myself yeah just uh, if you want to reach out to me on my social media my facebook my instagram my twitter enoch ojotisa just on my WhatsApp as well, you can reach out to me on um, 0705 5142. We can talk. Uh, my poetry production, my paintings. I'm a digital artist as well. I'm just many things in one so one body. And also, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Sir. And uh, my name remains Ajayi Solomon. So we meet again next week, same time, same platform of discovery, GBN Radio TV, 10 a.m. Up next is Sport News with... Be exposed.